Hey y'all. So today we're going to be taking a look at your shamanic messages from your guides. But before we get into that, I want to say a big thank you. Thank you. Thank you to everyone who took my free Claire quiz. I've been hearing from you guys about what results you got. And it's really, really exciting and thrilling to, to read what everyone got and to see how, how much fun you guys had and what you learned about yourselves and your own intuitive abilities in taking the quiz. So thank you so much. If you have not had a chance to do that yet, the link is in the description box below. If you would like to see what your strongest intuitive abilities are and how to work with them and develop them, as well as learn about what mine are and how I use them here in my readings, the free quiz is sent to your email if you just click on that link in the description box below. And again, thank you guys to everyone who took the quiz. Now let's go ahead and see what your shamanic messages from your guides are. Hey Leos, we're taking a look at your shamanic messages from your guides here. So where you are currently energetically is the wolf. Really, really brilliant, beautiful earth energy here. You know, the wolf equates to the Hierophant and the Tarot, which is Taurus energy, which speaks of everything being exactly as it's meant to be within a certain context of divine order right? Everything is right. Everything is fair. Everything is divinely aligned within divine timing and circumstance. So really beautiful energy that you're in currently, and you're going to be able to feel that, right? And it's like, I, I, it's that unbeatable feeling, in my opinion, of I'm exactly where I'm meant to be. <laughs> it's beautiful. And it may not always be overtly positive, right? Because life is, is you know, ups and downs. So it is. But you do have that unmistakable feeling of regardless of how things are in my given environment or within me, it's exactly as it's meant to be, which is important and unbeatable in my opinion. So wolf medicine as well is about that pack mentality, right? It's about putting others before yourself in service of the greater good. So wolves will take their elder members of their pack and then put them at the front and then the younger, more able-bodied, strongest wolves will be at the back, right? And it's that support system. So I love that that's coming through for you in this way as well, because it speaks of a, a sense of, of balance and order and everything being, again, like I said, in alignment and as it's meant to be. Your advice here with the sea serpent, hmm, very interesting. So that circle represents that of spirit, right? Which it's interesting because you have a major arcana here with the wolf and the Hierophant. And then your advice is, is like the most major of all the major arcanas because it's of the spirit. So Sea Serpent is really beautiful. It, it equates with a bit of a Queen of Wands type of energy, which speaks of, you know, uh, confidence, uh, leadership, passion, poise, and balance. But there's also an aspect of the Sea Serpent that it, really it's about emotional healing, right? Because here we have Yermingander here, the Sea Serpent. It, it's that aspect of, you know, cycles with the, you know, Know, sea serpent biting its tail here that says completion cycles oneness right so the fact that this is your advice <laughs> is very brilliant because this is another way to say that trust that that all that is is there's nothing missing there's nothing askew you did not make a wrong turn and everything is in divine order this also speaks of, a, you know, emotional cleansing as well. So I'm really hearing that if you want to take this a little bit more literally to really engage in some emotional detoxification for yourself as well, especially as it relates to the throat chakra and how that can affect the heart chakra. Because if the throat chakra is clogged, it will affect the chakra underneath it of the heart chakra, right? Because the heart can only speak the truth, but the throat, <laughs> right? Which is connected to those upper chakras of the mind. It's like, well, we need to keep that, you know, open and developed, right? So there's some in, in, in full expression. So that's coming through for you as well. Even if you need to express things, even in a journal, even if it's not to somebody else, you are being called to, to really allow yourself to go there and for the purpose of that emotional detoxification, balance, and healing. So your oracle here, air and fire dragon, expands your creative energies, harness your creativity, excitement, and enthusiasm, communicate your passion. Ah. And with the blue here as well, communicate your passion. You know, I'm hearing to put yourself out there. That's what I'm hearing. <laughs> put
put yourself out there. I'm really hearing to allow yourself to be seen. And in terms of your creative energy, harnessing your excitement, enthusiasm, what do we mean by harness? It means taking all of that fiery passion energy that you as Leos, you're, you're getting the fire dragon here with the Leos and then the air with the communication, right? And the mind. You are able and you do well with allowing yourself to be seen by others for the most part, right? That that kind of inherent Leo energy of I have something to share and, and I'm okay with, with that reality. I'm okay with being seen. I'm okay with being heard. I'm okay with connecting with other people. But here I'm, I'm, I'm linking this end to more of a, you know, your divine purpose and why you're here. What do you have to say that you can put out into the open or that what message do you have that you can harness through a creative means in order to reach? a greater net of people why are you here right why are you here and and what can you do to to you know promote that purpose in a larger way in a more profound way in a more clear way in a more you know communicative way because I'm hearing a little bit more direct communication or expansion or vision but it, but it does feel like you're being called to communicate that and, and hone it in that way. Because we can have a lot of ideas and passion and drive and all of that, but when we align it with our personal message and why we're here and, and our real purpose, our sole purpose of being here, then we're able to take that and, and really live it and, and with others in a way that, that you're help making your piece of the earth better than how you found it. And that's what it's all about, right? So it's really beautiful. I feel like it's gonna take you to a level that you're not, you haven't quite reached yet. Um, in terms of your you know, personal success or your personal satisfaction, it's really beautiful because there's being brilliant in what you do and then there's allowing others to receive the benefit of your brilliance and there's something to that. <laughs> I really like that for you. So Leos, with that being said, I so hope that this finds you well whenever and however you are when you see this. Um, I, please let me know in the comments below, you know, if you resonate with this, because I love reading your comments. I love reading your comments so much. Let me know how you're doing. And please like, share, and subscribe. I would so appreciate that. And with that being said, just thank you. Thank you so, so much for being here. And as always, and most of all, thank you for being you. And be well. Until next time.